guys welcome back to my channel and if it's your very very first time tuning in thank you so much please don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave today's video is just a short um, tutorial on how to style your own wig at home I do know that some people pay to get their wigs washed and styled and I just feel like it's something you can totally do at home it's super easy and super quick um, so that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys um, today if you're interested in seeing what you need and how to do all of that please keep watching okay so i have a wig here which i've recently washed which i'll be using in this video okay it's a lace closure wig uh and you also need um a wig a table clamp like this okay and i'll tell you guys now why i have the tape around um around it here you'll need um styling uh, what do you call this styling clips just to hold the hair back while you're styling and all of that you'll definitely need a brush and a comb you'll need a hair straightener okay i have this you need this to straighten the hair and you also need a mannequin head okay so really um these things you should have at home uh, or you could use a hair tie to section the hair, it doesn't matter. And the only thing you really need to invest in is the mannequin head, which is which retails for about 100 to 130 rand, depending where you buy it. Um, and the only other thing you need is a table clamp. Okay, and I'll show you how this works just now. I do sell these two items on my website so you're more than welcome to visit the website and buy these items there as well as like your styling accessories like, like this okay i'll leave the link in the description box and you guys can check it out um, after this tutorial um you will also need this which is a hair serum or oil that i use yeah there you go i have this which i buy at a clicks or discount this one, this particular hair serum is for color hair. That's why it has the, the red band around it. You do find the normal serum as well, which is just for like normal um, hair, hair extension. So you can buy that at Clips or Discam. So I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you guys how this clamp works. Okay, It basically clamps on any table that has, uh, you know, this space, not more than um, this space. Okay. So it will clamp here like this. And then you can adjust it. So there you go. It's secure, it's not going anywhere. Now the reason why I have tape here is because on a normal clamp when I put the, the head on it tends to move so when I'm styling the hair it tends to move and it makes that noise and that sound and also it's not fixed so it, it can make it quite hard to style the hair if the mannequin head keeps on moving left right center so I've gone ahead and I've put some tape around mine to make sure that the mannequin head sits and it doesn't move unnecessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and place the wig on the mannequin. This. So you also need some pins to pin down the hair. It just makes it easier for when you're styling, you know, make sure the wig is secure. Whatever you do, do not put a pin through any place where there is a closure, okay? What happens is that while you're styling, the, the pin can move or rather the closure moves and the pin can end up ripping the lace. So don't pin anything around where the lace um, is. And this is especially true for if you're styling a lace front or wig, because the whole front is a lace. You want to just pin it behind to make sure that the wig is secure but not to the point where you're putting it through the lace because then it will work your, your lace it's happened to me before it was very frustrating to fix so 
Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and section off some hair, and you wanna comb it through like this, or you could also always just brush it and then straighten it. Okay, so you can do it like this, or you can use the comb like I'm doing now. Just um, to straighten the hair. But I find that some people do struggle to, to get this right, so I always recommend to just um, section it off, comb it, hold it tight. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this to the rest of the hair. Uh, yeah, and then show you guys um, the end result. process but you want to maybe uh, make the hair wavy what you'll need is um, a curling wand like this okay you can also find these with something like this at clicks and I'll just show you a quick demo of what you do if you wanted it to be like wavy okay. I'm not going to do the whole wig because I want it to be straight. So let me just quickly undo this. See? You get some really nice waves with a curling wand. I'm going to go ahead and straighten this again. Try and do this again. Slower this time. Okay, so this is the final end result. In here, you can see that the hair is nice and smooth, and it looks nice and clean, and and um, I don't know, it just looks amazing. So I recommend you wash your wig at least once a week or if you're very busy or just don't have the time maybe once every two weeks it's really good to not allow um your wig to have like dirt built up because it can tangle the hair and also it can just make it look not healthy definitely invest in the, in these in these two things that i've told you about now um you will not regret it i promise you the last step 
after you do this is to put some oil on it and it has to be this serum oil guys do not put oil moisturizer or hair food or anything like that on your wig it will damage the hair okay you do not need a lot with this hair all you need is this oil because it is light and it also tends to um, not clog on the hair if you know what I mean so yeah guys that's all I have for you for today please do not forget to comment like share and subscribe to my channel and I will definitely see you guys in the next video bye that's all I have for you for today I'm gonna leave the description of So yeah, so yeah guys, that's all I have for you for today. Uh, I have a wig that I recently washed, which is...